Hello guys, Ruby here, and today I'd like to show you guys my archer build um, in No Rest for the Weekend. Um, after looking at all my friends and what they're playing, it seems as if almost everyone's playing a melee type build. Either a great sword, um, or a regular sword, short sword type stuff. Which um, gets boring pretty quickly, and so here's a different variation of a build you guys can have, or you guys can use. Um, to spice things up a little bit. Now, um, this archer build relies heavily on focus. And one of the cool things about it is that it frees up your stamina use when you're not using stamina for attacks and you're using stamina primarily for dodging and getting out of harm's way. Um, so basically your stamina resource is just left for just that and you're using focus for your damage and so. So hence the reason why my focus bar over here, let me get my arrow. No, oh, I'm sorry. It's all the way over here, and it's this long. It's this much because I put some point, some points into focus. Now, um, let me go ahead and show you guys my equipment or what I have. And so, the primary thing in this build here is uh, a bow. You need a good bow. Now, I chose to go with a regular bow as opposed to a legendary bow. Well, to be fair, legendary bow still hasn't dropped for me yet. Which is the reason as to why we'll be going to the um, to the training grounds, or some people call it a crucible in the game. And so, the bow I'm using is the uh, Laquid bow. I can see um, it's upgraded to level three. And let me use my mouse here. Even I'm primarily a, key, um, a control user in this game. And so you can see here it has four runes up here. Uh, which is the um, special skills you have your weapons. I have my regular arrow, evasive shot, fire arrow, and ice arrow. Ice arrow is when I need to do a little bit of CC on enemies to um, hold them in place or to slow them down. Now, one of the cool things in regards to using just regular weapons is that you can slot up to four gems in it, as opposed to if you... Um, and, and enhance a weapon where you lose three gem slots. I only have one. So the gems I've slotted in here is one that increases um, attack by adding extra heat damage. So attacks do 8% extra heat damage. And I gain 8% health on kill, which is crucial. Since I don't have a lot of health, I only have 70 health. And also, I gain 3% focus each time I deal with damage, which is important because remember, focus is our primary resource for dealing damage using the archer build here. And uh, the last one was what I could slot in there, which is just the game of experience, or lose experience if I die on death. Now in regards to my gear itself, the gear itself isn't that special. Um, it still has a good amount of improvements to it. But you also notice that I'm primarily focusing on, well, pattern upon there, I'm prioritizing gaining focus on my gear, as much focus as I can. I can see this gear, the gem I have slot, um, increases focus gain by 18%. I can also see also has focus I'll gain increased by another 18%. Healing effects by 29%. Healing is also good since I have little health in case I do get damage. Um, knockback and poise, not necessarily important for me since I'm not a melee build. On my chest piece here, since I have um, its purple, its cursed gear, uh, when I lose experience on death, and so we'll try as much as possible not to die frequently in this because you're going to lose experience points. Seven. Well, I can also what see here, um, my equipment load is increased by 16%, which is important because since we're playing an archer build, we need to be able to get in and out of danger as quickly as possible. So you want to make sure that you're on the fastest weight here which is on green you do not want to be on medium or on um, heavy because fast allows you to dash and i'll show what i mean by that so let me go so flash allows being fast equipped allows me to both dash like this get in and out of stuff pretty quickly now going back to what we're talking about um now that's that's for the chest is here so equipment load increased by 16 percent I also made sure to decrease the weight since I'm wearing um, as much as possible. 34%. Stamina increased by 6, which is important. Poise defense, not that important though. So this gear can still get some improvements to it. Health increased by 15%, which is important because I have re really low health. With my gloves, I'm using cloth gloves because of the weight. And those gloves is 
almost perfect for this build. You can see I have focus regeneration and health regeneration, which means that my health gradually increases and my focus also gradually regenerates or increases over time. Well, let me not say increases, more like fills up over time. Now, I do have a, um, since it's cursed, I also have a uh, negative, which is stamina loss and damage taken. So you want to try as much as possible not to get hit, because when you get hit, you're going to lose stamina. I remember stamina is important for us to be able to get out of harm's way or out of enemy's attack. So now the last um, um, armor piece I have here is my legs, which is also cursed, which decreases my health by 19%. But there's some good things on here. Uh, the gem I have on here is to gain 7% focus on focus use. This is amazing because since most of our attacks uses focus, each time I use an attack, I also gain focus back. And the 7% focus use is the total percentage of my focus bar. So it's important to have your focus bar to be as big as possible. That way the 7% scales even better. Now I also have healing effects. Uh, fo focus gain increased by 20%, which is good. Healing effects increased by 15%, which is good. Reflects 3% damage taken if I do get damaged. And my stamina is also increased by 18, which is also really good. Now, in terms of my rings, I'm using two rings, uh, three, two types of rings um, on my three slots. I have my fierce rings, which increases my armor. That's why I'm up to 315. Even though I'm using a combination of cloth and um, leather pieces. And so Fierce Ring gives me, um, increases armor by 12%, damage dealt by 15%, and here's another one here. I'm going to increase by 13, damage dealt by 15, um, 17%. So I want to scale my damage as much as possible. And I also have a Rune Ring, which also increases my Rune attacks to deal 19% bonus damage. Remember, all our attacks that we're doing is using focus, um, is using focus, but they're also all Rune attacks, which are which is if you shoot a regular arrow, fire an evasive shot, a fire or arrow or an ice arrow. That's that's what we're doing here. And then in regards to my stats here, you notice my stats distribution. I have only five points in health, just to have a little bit of um, room. No points in stamina at all. Um, strength and intelligence. This one point here was when I was leveling up this character. I have 44 points in dexterity, which is going to help with our liquid bow and also help with our melee weapon too now our uh, faith i have 26 and 26 is so that i'm able to equip the uh, um, the wind of death here now our uh, focus is 28 um, once i get a 30 i'm going to put the last three points into more focus here you can never have enough focus and i have some points in equip load just to bring the weight class down to the fastest which is green over here I can see here, my hit points is 70, stamina is 74, stamina regen is 30, focus points is 320, and focus gain is 53%. These two say. points here can get better. Um, if I get better armor, I'll be able to update this build. Now my defense, armor is 315, points is 10, no, no much need for that. And these are my resistances here. And this is everything in regards to the build itself. Now, in terms of the attacks we'll be using, when you hold, since I'm playing the control, if you hold on your left bumper, you get into your rune attacks. And I have a regular shot, which shoots that. I have a shot that allows me to backtrack or to jump backwards in case an enemy gets the book, which is that one there, which is good of getting out of stuff. And then um, I have my ice arrow, which is to. Um, CC enemies to slow them down or freeze them in place and I have my regular fire arrow there. Now that one could be improved since I already have fire damage on all my attacks. That could be uh, changed to plague attacks for that one there. Now watch, notice this. As I shoot my arrow, look at my focus meter at the very top there. Remember when I said focus on focus use? That's what this does. You can see it. each time I shoot, even if I'm not hitting an enemy, my focus increases. And that is perfect for this build because remember, all our attacks is focus based. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this into practice. Now, what we're doing here, we are going to go into Crucible. And to go to the Crucible, you need to go to the Morgue, which is over here. This is the Morgue area here on the 
the northern side of the uh, map for Sacrament. You see it, um, Serene Crucible. And one of the things you also need for that is you are going to need this over here. You know, you're going to need Fallen Ember. Now, it's a good thing I came back into my inventory because one other thing you also need to look into is in regards to the potions and the healing items you'll be using. And this is very important and it needs to complement the build itself. And so, um, for this, my food of choice is Angl um, Angler's Delight Chowder, which restores 100 health and 50 focus. Okay, and then my stam uh, my pots is my stamina pot here, which increases my stamina for 20 seconds if I need to get out of harm's way. That's what that's for. And so if my stamina is depleted, I can chug this real quick to get some stamina so I can get out of harm's way. And then this here is to increase my stamina by 15 percent um, by 15 points for 60 seconds, but also it shows 100 health. Okay. Now to get into the crucible, you need a fallen ember <clears throat> and there are numerous ways to get fallen ember and as you play crystal you're going to get a good amount of them too and so now what i'm going to do here is i am going to head over here to the morgue and there are different ways to get there i normally use this here not much to say. Ooh, I, I was able to cling onto the ladder there for falling all the way down i've lost a good amount of health there but anyways, <clears throat> going on. So this is the way to the uh, morgue. Make sure, yep, I'm still in the right direction there. As you all know, you need to be familiar with, your, with the way you get around since this game doesn't have a minimap. It only has a full blow map that you have to go into this to see. Okay, so this is, so you go to the masonry's shop to get into, to gain access to a crucible. And then from here, I'm just gonna go all the way down And this is a perfect way to showcase how the build works. It does a good amount of damage, and you're also in relative safety compared to melee builds. And it's something else to play as. It's a lot of fun too. So um, this is the oh, crucible. This is the chick there that I went in with the first time. So you just come up to this altar here. You offer a fallen ember with your blood. There we go. I want to call things of a crucible is that you if I go oh crap. Let me jump in. Okay. Is that you get a good amount of gold in here. Not just that too, when you defeat the boss, you are guaranteed two legendaries. At least a ring from one of the chests. So legendary from the boss, a legendary from the chest, from one of the chests, at least a ring from one a good at least a ring from one of your chests. I'm also going to release a video on that I stumbled up um, on something I stumbled upon beating the boss. As of the current build of the game, once you beat the boss, you can farm legendaries very quickly without having to run Crucible all over again. I found this um, yesterday night while I was running Crucible over and over again, and um, I'll show what I mean by that in a different video. But anyways, so this is the Crucible. We're in here now, and check this out. I can literally just kill enemies from a good distance. It makes Crucible really, really easy. That's fine. It's one of the things I need to fix in the game in regards to how certain things are structured. You can see that guy go close. Oh, he's right there. That's fine, that's fine. There we go. Now you can see what I meant by making sure enemies don't hit you. We're gonna use our ice there to hold it in place. And that's it, he's dead. I can see we're not draining focus. Well, we're draining focus, just that we're gaining focus back very quickly. Now, I notice my stamina has gone down there. And that's what the stamina pots is going to be for there. Because you want to make sure the enemies are not hitting you. 
because you lose a lot of stamina and it takes a while for it to get back so that's what those pots are for there we go and so that's one of the downsides with the curse i have on me if i get better gear i will remove that curse or a more favorable cursed um, gear piece and what i mean by gear piece is this one right here where is it? Stamina loss and damage taken. I have my gloves here. But the gloves are so good because it has focus and health regeneration all in one gear piece. So if I can get something like this to roll again with that with a different negative effect other um, other than stamina on loss stamina loss and damage taken, I'll I'll take it in a happy. Anyways, so let's go on. I'll showcase another room here. Or show another room here. Show you how easy this is. The only thing you need to be aware of is that the, the, um, the ability of the game, if you're playing with a controller, the ability of the game to lock onto targets is kind of wonky if you're playing from ranged. Take out this guy here. You can see how easy this is. This is just really, really easy. And for the big guy here, we'll start with a by holding him in place. And he'll be dead before it gets to us. You can see, and that's it. And that's, we just cleared this room. Without taking a single damage. And in relative safety. Now, in regards to the stamina regen in here, I think it's a bug in the game. Um, it's something I'm hoping the developers fix. Um, ever since I created this build, I've run into that issue there. Now, I'm sure you guys are also wondering, what's the, if I'm playing ranged, what is the deal with my katana? Why am I using a katana here? And so this katana here is just, if things get dice, if things get pretty close, um, it'll allow me to be able to dispatch our foes. By the time things get close to me anyways, they're pretty low on health to begin with, so. But this is the build in general. I will not bore you guys anymore. And I also want to keep the video as short as I possibly can. But this is the build though, uh, my um, archer build in No Rest for the Wicked. Like I said again, the primary focus here, well, pun intended, is to stack as much focus as you can in regards to your focus gain, the uh, amount of focus you have, and the rings you're using and stuff like that. But that's it guys, and with that, we'll be out. Happy gaming folks. Peace.